Hey guys, we're in my backyard here in Tennessee, and I want to show you guys something. Okay. <coughs> oh no, that with allergies. <laughs> okay, so this is my backyard pond. We have four tadpoles and two minnows that I caught like eight months ago. Yeah, it's probably eight, eight, eight months ago now. Yeah. Yeah, and they survived in the whole winter, and it flows like multiple times. Yeah, there's the two minnows. They haven't grown a whole lot, but we've been feeding them and obviously they've lasted in here for eight months. You guys can see all the algae that's grown. We actually have a bubbler that goes in here too. We just turned it off because we're, what are we doing today? Cleaning it out. We're cleaning it out. Um, and we introduce, we, we need to introduce a new habitat, right? Yes. Why? One of these guys. Oh my gosh. He this turned, guy has fully almost turned to a frog. Almost completely frog. He has so a little bit of a tail. This is crazy. Oh, oh look at the little fella. He doesn't quite hop yet. I think he's gotta lose that little tail before it hops. So we're gonna transfer that guy to a new habitat. Yes. And um wanna show him what he looked like just prior to this. <laughs> um he looked like that. Grab one of the tadpoles and let's show him. So it's been eight months. We caught these tadpoles. They've gotten big and juicy and fat, but they're not really turning at all. Um, you guys can see. Um, we don't see any signs of... No legs. Yeah. No legs and no feet on those. That must be the big chunker, because we've been gone for two weeks, and that there was one of them that was growing legs and arms, and I think that's him. It has to be. Well, let me check if this guy has any Yeah, legs. let's see if this one. No. That's not growing any either. So we something must be doing happened. something wrong. In eight months, those haven't gotten any legs or arm. We got to do something about these. So it must, yeah, this must be the big guy that was growing some legs. He looks small just because I think he always started to lose some of his tail. Yeah. I think that's it. That's amazing. It's it looks so, so different. So if you guys want to see the difference here, hold that one and grab one of the tadpoles and we'll hold them up right next to each other. Yeah, this one's small, but. Okay. Oh. There we go. Okay, so basically, oh. just a few. It, it oh, hopped. I freaking hop! <laughs> it's first hop! I could cry! So it's first hop. So basically, <laughs> just weeks ago, or let's say about two months ago, it looked mm -hmm. like this. And now it looks like this. Yeah. So you guys can see why we need to create a new habitat that because it's going to be hopping out any moment and we want to take ah! it whoa second hop he almost, he almost got it out this is crazy so literally we nursed that from a tadpole almost all the way to a frog and soon enough it's going to be out on its own right yep okay we got a bucket here i used water from the pond and it's hard to get more water in there so we'll just use what we have okay and obviously you guys can see and if we were to stir it up there's all kinds of filthiness in here there's algae. It must make it hard to breathe breathe for these guys. So we are gonna clean this tank and first we need to transfer. One tadpole. The frog now. Oh little, little frog friend who's gonna hop away if we're not careful. There we go. And we need to get the minnows, but those will probably be the hardest. Okay, so we'll do the transfer process, then the cleaning process, and then oh my gosh, you guys can see there's all this like poop and algae I'm just it's disgusting. Yeah, like we're gonna... Oh, that's gross. Sorry, guys. We'll clean it up for you. Well, we actually have snails in here, too. We just wash them in the washing process. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you can see like three of them right there, those little black things. There's probably like 10 or 12, you think, in here? Yeah, and they're buried. <laughs> yeah, and, and they survive just fine, too. Yeah. In fact, they move all around the tank. Um, <laughs> whoa! All right, let's do it. Full power. Next time you see us, this thing will be clean. Now we create the habitat for a little froggy friend. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, we got uh, Lowe's bucket right here. Yep. Oh, so you got some rocks in there. And what's yeah, this? A moss. Nice. Perfect. Like Where'd moss. you find that? Uh, we found it at a pond we went to a while ago. Ah, good find. Okay. So let's plop that in there. Yep. 
Very cool. Just a little more. A little more moss. All right, and since it's becoming a frog, it may want to perch up on some land, right? Yep. Oh, this is perfect. I'm put it on top of the moss because the moss does float. Okay. Oh yes. Okay. Mm. Oh, maybe it'll want to float on the moss. Crawl up on it. Maybe we should. Yeah. Okay. We'll try that. How much water do you think we put in here? Probably not much, because I don't think I need that much. I think that's yeah, I think that's pretty much all it needs. You think we're good? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if I can turn this off with one hand. Okay. okay, so what does it have about five inches of water? Yeah, maybe like, yeah, I don't know. How's the temperature? Pretty good. Uh, about 72 degrees. Yep. <laughs> awesome, all right. And let's transport our friends to the new clean environments, right? Yep. Yeah. Ta-da, nice and clean. I'm the winch in the pond right now. Oh yeah, it looks good. Nice clear water. Some of the snails, as you guys can see, are already sort of rising up to the top. Um, they move really slow, but literally they'll go all over the place. They'll crawl on the sides, get up into this algae, but they do stay under the water. This is looking good. Yep. All right, so we'll introduce the friends. They're in that bucket there. Turn the bubbler on, and we should be good to go with Habitat A. Go. I'm calling this Habitat A. Okay. <laughs> and habitat B is what? This one? Ah, there it is. And oh, I forgot. We better put a little conditioner in there. I have some in my pocket. Oh, okay. This is actually like tap water conditioner for betta fish, but it works fine. Yeah. These fish are super hardy and obviously they lasted through a frozen winter. So we'll put a few drops in there and we're good to go. All right, so the water is going to be perfect for these guys. Should we put the bubbler in? Yep. All right, I better plug it in. Oh, it's on. Okay, bubbler going in. And we'll put it right there. Ta-da! Okay, there we go. Tadpole number one. Yep. Two more One more. Two more. Two more. Oh, I don't know where the other guy went. Oh, yeah. What do we got oh, here? Oh, hold on. Uh, a minnow just jumped in. A minnow? I missed that part. There it is. Hello, minnow. Last minnow. These ones are a little trickier. Oop! That just jumped in, too. Okay, and there's one guy that's not going back in here. Froggy, yes! I think that this guy probably breathes air now, I guess, because it's been hanging around near the top, so we don't need a bubbler in here. Um, it will just come up for air when it's ready. Oh. Hey, he jumped in! Yes! I'm pretty dark down in there, all that shade from the big walls. Welcome home, little buddy. And hopefully you'll be able to learn how to climb in here. Yes! Awesome. Awesome. Everybody's back in their new homes, and we'll see if we can get these guys to turn into actual frogs. Stay tuned. That'll be on our next video. Good job, Till. Mm. Oh, well, if you're wondering what baby frogs and tadpoles eat, for us, they eat organic arugula. <laughs> yeah, arugula, which is a type of lettuce, and uh, yeah, it's organic, um, just because this is the stuff we haven't eaten. So we just make like a lily pad of it here and uh, apparently the tadpoles eat it because that's how that one must have grown into a frog. Mm -hmm. And he's got some arugula too. Mm -hmm. See you guys. See you guys.